What is a one-to-one -one function? A one-to-one -one function is one in which each input, number that replaces the variable, has exactly one output, result of the equation. In such cases, the function needs to pass the horizontal line test. Showing that a horizontal line intersects the graph once and only once. What are logic puzzles? In general, a logic puzzle involves the description of an event or contest. It is derived from the mathematical field of deduction, clues are provided and the puzzle player has to piece together what actually happened by using clear and logical thinking, thus the name. One of the most famous logic puzzle pioneers was writer, photographer, mathematician. And illustrator Charles Lutwich Dodgson, 1832-1898, otherwise known as Alice's Adventures in Wonderland author Lewis Carroll. What is the difference between the various pounds and ounces? The story behind the ounce is long and convoluted because Historically people have been dissatisfied with the unit. For example, in medieval times English merchants were not happy with the troy pound. As it was less than the commercial pound in most of Europe. In response, the merchants developed an even larger pound which was called the Libra Mercatoria, or Mercantile Pound. But by 1300 the complaints about the Mercantile Pound grew, because 15 troy ounces, or 7200 grains, were easily divided by 15 and its divisors, but this was not as convenient as dividing by 12 troy ounces. Soon, Another type of pound was born in English commerce, the 16-ounce avoirdupois. Roughly translated from the Old French as goods of weight. Modeled on a common Italian pound unit of the late 13th century. The avoirdupois pound weighed exactly 7,000 grains, which is easily divided for use in sales and trade. But because it was difficult to convert between the Troy and Averdepois units. The Averdepois ounce is 7,000/16 or 437.5 grains, and 1 grain equals 1/7,000 Averdepois pound. Or 1/5,760 Troy or apothecaries pound. The troy ounce is 5,760/12,480 grains or 31.1035 grams in metric. The standard soon shifted to using mostly the avoirdupois unit. The avoirdupois is currently used in the United States and Britain. It is equal to 1/16th of a pound or 28.3495 grams in metric. The avoirdupois ounce is further divided into 16 drams, or dram. The troy ounce hasn't been totally forgotten, though. Today, it is used mainly as units for precious metals and drugs, where it is often called the apothecary's ounce. With its subdivisions of the scruple, or 20 grains, and the dram, 
or 60 grains. In turn, the avoirdupois hour ounce for short is used for almost everything else. What is the difference between probability and odds? Probability is usually expressed as a fraction, sometimes as a percentage. For example, if there are 10 pieces of fruit in a jar 3 apples and 7 oranges then the probability of taking out an orange is 7 tenths, or 7 chances of an orange out of a total of 10 chances. On the other hand, odds are expressed as the number of chances for or against, versus the number of chances against, or for. Thus, if there are three chances of picking an apple and seven chances of picking an orange, the odds are seven to three against you picking an apple. Just reverse this to find the odds in favor, or, in this example. The odds would be 3 to 7 in favor of picking an apple. In order to convert the odds to probability, just add the chances. Thus, if the odds against a horse winning the Kentucky Derby are 4 to 1, that means that out of 5, or 4 plus 1, chances, the horse has one chance of winning. That makes the probability of the horse winning one-fifth, or 20%. What is computer science? Computer science is, of course, the science of studying computers. It is the study of computation and information processing. Involving hardware, software, and even mathematics. More specifically, it is the systematic study of computing systems. And the computations that go behind making the computer function. Computer scientists need to know computing systems and methods, how to design computer programs. Including the use of algorithms, programming languages and other tools, and how software and hardware work together. They also need to understand the analysis and verification of the input and output. Where did the symbols for multiplication originate? The 17th century seems to be the century when the basic mathematical symbols were developed. The best reasons for the development of such symbols make sense. They were faster and easier to write took up less written space, and helped the printing process. Although the use of these symbols would eventually be standardized so everyone would understand the meaning of certain mathematical operations it took a while for this to happen. For example, in 1686 German mathematician Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz 1646 to 1716, was using the symbol N for multiplication and U for division. Eventually, English mathematician and scientist Thomas Harriot, 1560 to 1621, also seen as Harriot, used the dot to indicate multiplication in his treatise Artis Anadisi Praxis, 1631. 
he also developed the greater than and less than symbols. That same year, English mathematician William Oofdred, 1575-1660, used the symbol X for multiplication in his book Clavis Mathematici, in which he was also the first to mention the plus-minus symbol plus or minus. What are interpolation and extrapolation? Interpolation in mathematics involves finding a value, or outcome, of a function between already known values. In other words, it is a method of estimating the values in between sampled data points. Extrapolation in mathematics is estimating the value of a problem beyond the range covered by the existing data. Both methods are used a great deal in engineering. What is a perfect square? Here are many equations that can be factored into a perfect square. Any expression written in the form x2 plus 2x and a 2 is a perfect square an expression writ 210 as something. To determine if an expression is a perfect square, first see if the constant term is a square number in other words. Can the square root of the number be taken to get an integer for an answer? If so, determine if the square root of the constant multiplied by 2 gives the coefficient of the linear term, or the x term. If it does, the original expression may be factored into a perfect square. Note, the above procedure only works when the coefficient of x2 is 1. For example, in the equation x2 plus 8x plus 16, the constant term, 16, is already a perfect square, the square root of 16 is 4. Since 2, 4, equals 8, the original expression can be written as a perfect square. Because we know x2 plus 2x and a 2 is a perfect square, and equals, x and a. 2, by substituting the common factor 4 into the equation, we find that x2 plus 8x plus 16 equals, x plus 4, 2. What are some familiar Arabic terms used in mathematics? There are numerous Arabic terms we use today in our studies of mathematics. One of the most familiar is the term algebra, which came from the title of the book. Aljabra W. al Mukabala by Persian mathematician Muhammad ibn Musa al Khwarizmi, 783 c. 850, also seen as al Khwarizmi and al Khwarizmi. He was the scholar who described the rules needed to do mathematical calculations in the Hindu Arabic numeration system. The book, whose title is roughly translated as Transposition and Reduction, explains all about the basics of algebra. For more information, see Algebra. Another Arabic derivation is algorithm which stems from the Latinized version of Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi's own name. 
Over time, his name evolved from Alcawarizmi to Alchorizmi, then Algorizmi, Algorismus. Algorithm, and finally Algorithm. What is an ordered pair? An ordered pair is two quantities usually written as A, B. That have a significant order, thus, A, B, does not equal, B, A. Ordered pairs are used in set theory to define members in a function. Ordered pairs are also valuable in linear equations and graphing. In which the x coordinate is the first number and the y coordinate is the second number, or, x, y. They are used on a grid to locate a point. For more information about ordered pairs and graphs, see geometry and trigonometry. Who developed the mathematical equations that explain electricity and magnetism? One of the major early works about electricity and magnetism was written by Scottish physicist James Clerk Maxwell, 1831-1879, who in 1873 published a treatise on electricity and magnetism theory of the electromagnetic field. These equations, now known as Maxwell's equations, Include four partial differential equations that provided a basis for the unification of electric and magnetic fields. The electromagnetic description of light, and, ultimately, Albert Einstein's theory of relativity. Although most people recognize Isaac Newton's work on mechanics, few remember Maxwell's electromagnetic theories. Including the idea of the electromagnetic wave, when it comes to classical physics. How do you subtract numbers? Subtraction is the opposite, or in set theory, the inverse, of addition. In its simplest form, one whole number is essentially taken away from another whole number. When you subtract numbers, you are answering the question of how many are left. For example, if 23 people leave a building that has 123 people, 123 23, there would be 100 people left in the building. What is the purpose of the numbers found in a mailing address? The Zone Improvement Plan or zip, code is a grouping of numbers assigned by the U.S. Postal Service to designate a local area or entity in order to speedily deliver and distribute mail. Zip codes most often refer to a street section, a collection of streets, a structure or building, or a group of post office boxes but the numbers do not rigidly conform to boundaries of cities, counties, states, and other places. Depending on the area, a zip code includes 5, 7, 9, or 11 digits. 
In the most common codes five digit zip codes the first digits divide the country into ten. Large groups of states numbered from zero in the northeast to nine in the far west. Each state is divided into geographic areas identified by the second and third digits of the zip code. For example, New York and Pennsylvania have zip codes starting with numbers between 090 and 199, Indiana, Kentucky, Michigan, and Ohio begin with numbers between 400 and 499 The fourth and fifth digits of a zip code identify the local delivery area. What is the root of a number? The root of a real or complex number is a number that, when raised to some exponent or multiplied by itself the number of times indicated by the exponent equals the original number. Most people are familiar with square and cube roots. There are actually many other such roots, including the real fourth roots, real fifth roots, and so on and roots associated with complex numbers. For example, the real fourth roots of 16 are 2 and minus 2, the real fifth root of minus 32 is minus 2. How is modeling and simulation used in geology? Like so many other fields of science, mathematical modeling and simulation is used in geology to understand the intricacies of physical events in the past, present, and future. For example, hydrologists, geologists who study water flow above and below the Earth's surface often use models to simulate the effects of increased groundwater pumping of wells. They may also use a simulation to determine how much water can be presently pumped out of a well, or how much can be pumped out in the future without harm to the environment. Other hydrologists may use modeling to understand the flow of water in a river. Bay or estuary, for example, to determine how the water erodes a shoreline. Still other researchers may model how snow on a volcanic mountain melts, gathers debris, and potentially flows toward populated areas during an eruption event. For more about modeling and simulation, see Math in Computing. What is a stock market or stock exchange? The stock market, or stock exchange, is a way of providing companies a means of issuing shares to people who want to invest in various companies, it provides a way of buying and selling those shares stocks, or the ownership investment in a corporation, is represented by shares, which are claims on a company's assets and earnings. Common stock means the investor has voting rights in the company. Preferred stock means there are no voting privileges. Owners of preferred stock, however, have first claim not only on the assets and earnings of the company over common stock, but also the dividends are paid first to people who own these shares.
How are angles measured? Angles are measured in two major ways, degrees and radians. Similar to degrees on a temperature scale. Degrees in mathematics especially when discussing angles are usually denoted by the symbol degree. They are divided into 60 arc minutes, and arc minutes are divided into 60 arc seconds. The multiples of 60 are thought to be connected to the Babylonian sexagesimal number system. One based on the number 60, in which the year was composed of 360 days, or 12 months at 30 days each. If the vertex of an angle and one side are fixed and the other side is rotated about the vertex. It sweeps out a circle of 360 degrees with each complete rotation. Said another way, a full rotation is 360 degrees. Radians, denoted as rad, are real numbers represented as an angle. They are the central angle of a circle determined by two radii and an arc joining them. In degrees, a radian is about 57.29578 degrees or 180 slash pi degrees, because a semicircle contains pi radians. For example, pi slash 6 is equal to a 30 degree angle, because a straight angle is pi radians. Or 180 degrees, if you divide 180 by 6, or pi slash 6, it is equal to 30 degrees. Radians are most often used in probability and statistics. Or calculus, especially to obtain the derivative of trigonometric functions. What are perpendicular, orthogonal, normal, and tangent lines? Lines are also classified by their relationship to other angles and lines. Perpendicular lines are two lines, segments, or rays that intersect to form a right, 90 degree, angle. Orthogonal lines are another way of saying lines are perpendicular but it is mostly used in terms of functions. Transformations, and vectors in other mathematical fields. Normal lines are perpendicular lines where each line is perpendicular to a curve. Including a line, or a surface, including a plane. And finally, a line is considered to be tangent to a circle if it intersects the circle at exactly one point also called the point of tangency. Such lines are also called tangential lines. Who originated Cartesian coordinates? Cartesian coordinates are a way of finding the location of a point using distances from perpendicular axes. For more information about coordinates, see geometry and trigonometry. The first steps towards such a coordinate system were suggested by French philosopher, mathematician, and scientist René Descartes (1596–1650) in Latin, Renatus Cartesius. He was the first to publish a work explaining how to use coordinates for finding points in space. Around the same time, Pierre de Fermat developed the same idea independently, see below.
Both Descartes and Fermat's ideas would lead to what is now known as Cartesian coordinates. Descartes is also considered by some to be the founder of analytical geometry. He contributed to the ideas involved in negative roots and exponent notation. Explain the phenomenon of rainbows and the formation of clouds, and even dabbled in psychology. How can word problems be expressed as equations? There seem to be a gazillion word problems out there just. Ask anyone taking such tests in grade or high school. The one thing most have in common is that they can be expressed as an Equation many as algebraic equations in which there are known and unknown quantities. In almost all instances, there are keywords that lead the reader to determine not only the numbers and variables, but also what operations to use in the equation to determine the answer. What culture took the first steps in the development of mathematical analysis? Mathematical analysis and, thus, the ideas of calculus took centuries to develop. Probably the first to present some solid concepts in the field were the Greeks whose most important Contribution was the method of exhaustion, expanding the measurements of an area to take in more and more of the required area. For example, Zeno of Elia, c490 c425 BCE, based many problems on the infinite. Lucippus of Miletus, fluid c435 c420 BCE, Democritus of Abdera, 460 to 370 BCE. A student of Lucippus who also proposed an early theory about how the universe was formed, and Antiphon, c. 479 to 411 BCE, who some historians believe tried to square the circle, would all contribute to the method of exhaustion. Eudacus of Nidus, c. 400-347 BCE, would be the first to use the method on a scientific basis. Archimedes, c. 287-212 BCE, Hellenic. Considered one of the greatest Greek mathematicians took mathematical analysis one step further. He more fully developed the theory presented by Eudacus that would eventually lead to integral calculus. When was non-Euclidean geometry first announced? Non-Euclidean geometry or a system of geometry different from that developed by Euclid, cp. 17, was first announced by Russian mathematician Nikolai Ivanovich Lobachevsky, 1792-1856, also seen as Lobachevsky. In 1826, this idea had already been independently developed by the Hungarian Janos or Johann, Bolyai, 1802-1860, in 1823 and by Karl Friedrich Gauss, 1777-1855, in 1816, but Lobachevsky was the first to publish on the subject. 
1854 German mathematician George Friedrich Bernhard Riemann. 1826-1866, presented several new general geometric principles. His suggestion of another form of non-Euclidean geometry. Further established this new way of looking at geometry. Riemann was also responsible for presenting the Riemann hypothesis. Or zeta function, a complex function that remains an unsolved issue in mathematics today. For more information about geometry and Riemann, see Geometry and Trigonometry. What are functions? Functions are mathematical expressions describing the relationship between variables and involve only algebraic operations. If there is one independent variable, the dependent variable for example y, can be determined through the function. This is often seen written as y equals f, x, spoken as y equals f of x. Functions also use notation with x, for example, f, x, equals 2x plus 1 is a function. Functions within equations are also common, for example, in the equation x2 plus y equals 3, the y represents a function of x. This equation can also be written as y equals 3 plus x2. Functions do not always have to be in terms of f, x. They can just as easily be termed g, x, depending on the equation. But note. The equation x2 plus y2 equals 9 is not a function, as x and y are both independent variables. What is a null or empty set? A null or empty set contains no elements, an empty set is considered to be a subset of every other set. The opposite of an empty set is, logically, a non-empty set, or one that is not empty. The notations for empty set are and zero, but not, as it is sometimes written in texts. Interestingly enough, an empty set is considered to be both open and closed for any set X. What is the 15 puzzle? The 15 puzzle was introduced in 1878 by American amateur mathematician Samuel Lloyd, 1841-1911. He called it the Boss Puzzle and later the 15-16 puzzle. It is one of the most famous puzzles in his book Sam Lloyd's Cyclopedia of 5000 Puzzles. Tricks and Conundrums published in 1914 after his death by his son, Sam Lloyd. This puzzle has 16 squares, 15 of them are numbered from 1 to 15 and placed in a 4x4 configuration. With one position, the 16th, left open. The idea was to reposition the squares from a given arbitrary arrangement by sliding them from place to place until they were in numerical order, 1, 2, 3, and so on. For some initial starting points, the rearrangement was possible, 
for others, it was not. But Lloyd offered a twist to the puzzle he switched the positions of the squares numbered 14 and 15 and offered $1. 000 to anyone who could solve the puzzle. Working out the puzzle became a craze in America, with reports of companies prohibiting employees from playing during office hours it was as popular as playing computer solitaire is today. Even in Europe, the craze grew. Deputies in Germany's Reichstag played the puzzle. And in France it was claimed to be a greater curse than alcohol or tobacco. But Lloyd knew no one could solve the puzzle. Much less remember all the steps taken to try and get to a solution, because there was no solution. How do you find statistics about criminal justice? One of the best places to find statistics about criminal justice is the Bureau of Justice Statistics. The Bureau offers a multitude of useful crime statistics, including criminal victimization. Crime characteristics, victim characteristics, and incident-based statistics. All of which help the police and other crime-fighting agencies to better understand crime and how it works. But the statistics don't stop there, there are also statistics about law enforcement officers. Campus law enforcement agencies, and crime labs, a census of law enforcement training academies. And even statistics about the courts and criminal sentencing. There are also other places to find such statistics. For example, the Federal Bureau of Investigation offers statistical reports, such as the Uniform Crime Reports. UCR, a program started in 1929 that collects information about crimes reported to the police. But in the late 1980s, in response to law enforcement's need for more flexible, in-depth data. The UCR program evolved into the National Incident-Based Reporting System, NIBRS. This more complete system collects detailed statistical data on each reported crime incident and is used by law enforcement. Researchers, governmental planners, criminal justice students, and the general public. How are decimal fractions calculated by adding, subtracting, multiplying and dividing? Decimal fractions are added, subtracted. Multiplied and divided much like whole numbers, but with decimal differences. The following gives some examples, adding such numbers as 0 0.3 plus 0 0.2 is simple. 0 0.3 plus 0 0.2 equals 0 0.5. Adding whole and decimal fractions is also easy, 2.4 plus 5 equals 7.4. These numbers are also easy to subtract. Such as 0 0.3 0 0.2 equals 0 0.1. Multiplication and division with fractions is also similar to doing so with regular numbers. Although the placement of the decimal point is all important. For example, Multiplying 24.45x 0.002 equals 0.0489, dividing the same numbers 24.45 slash. 
zero zero two equals twelve thousand two hundred and twenty five. It's interesting to note here a mathematical surprise in the last example. Dividing the small numbers equaled a much larger number, the opposite of what most of us would expect. Why are mathematicians so interested in transcendental numbers? Transcendental numbers are those that are not the root of any integer polynomial. Or that are not an algebraic number of any degree. Thus, all transcendental numbers are irrational, rational numbers are algebraic numbers of degree 1. The importance of such numbers translates through more than two millennia of history. For example, they provided the first proof that circle squaring was insoluble. Which is one of the geometric problems that has baffled mathematicians throughout antiquity. Rings are usually named after one or more of their investigators. But such a practice usually makes understanding the properties of the various associated rings difficult for anyone other than the mathematician working on the ring. What are the properties of logarithms? Logarithms have certain properties, depending on the interpretations of an equation. The following lists some of the most common properties, these rules are the same for all positive bases. Loga 1 equals 0, because A equals 1. For example, in the equation 140 equals 1, the base is 14 and the exponent is 0 because a logarithm is an exponent. This would mean the equation can be written as a logarithmic equation, or log 14 1 equals 0, 0 is the exponent. What is ecology? Ecology, also known as bionomics, is a branch of biology that deals with the abundance and distribution of organisms in nature, as well as the relations between organisms and their environment. It is an inherently quantitative science, with ecologists using sophisticated Mathematics and statistics to describe and predict patterns and processes in nature. What is dimensional analysis? Simply put, Dimensional analysis is a way of manipulating unit measures using algebra to determine the proper units for a quantity that is being computed. For example, the units of length over time represent velocity in feet per second. Acceleration is velocity over time. Thus, Acceleration will then have units of feet per second per second, or feet per second squared. What is a kipu? Kipus, or kipu, in Spanish were used by the Incas of South America. 
A kipu is a collection of knotted strings that record certain information. The approximately 600 surviving kipus use an arrangement of knotted strings hanging from horizontal cords. But these knots are nothing like those made by other cultures, they include long knots with four turns. Single knots, figure eight knots, and a whole host of other knot types. Historians believe these strings and knots represent numbers once used for accounting. Inventory, and population census purposes. There are also researchers who believe the kipus may contain certain messages. In some sort of code a kind of language used by the Incas based on the strings. Knots, and even a kipu strings type, usually alpaca wool or cotton, and color. But it may turn out that historians will never know the real story behind the Kipus. When the Spanish conquered the Inca Empire starting in 1532, they destroyed most of the strings. Believing they might be idolatrous items containing accounts of Incan history and religion. What is statistics? The analysis of events governed by probability is called statistics. In statistics, a group of facts is collected and classified in a methodical manner. Which is why such a study is important to the fields of science. Finance, social research, insurance, engineering, and sundry other areas. In general, the data are grouped according to their relative number. Then certain other values are determined based on the characteristics of the group. The most important part of statistical theory is sampling. This is because in most applications, the statistician is not only interested in the characteristic of the sample, but also the characteristics of some much larger population. For information about samples and populations, see below. What is solid geometry? Solid geometry is the study of objects in three-dimensional Euclidean space. It deals with solids, as opposed to plane geometry, which deals with two dimensions. This part of geometry is concerned with entities such as polyhedra, spheres, cones, cylinders, and so on. For more about Euclidean space and dimensions, see elsewhere in this chapter. In geometry, solids are defined as closed three-dimensional figures. Or any limited portion of space bounded by surfaces. They differ in subtle ways from what we perceive as solids. We see solids in terms of what surrounds us three-dimensional figures with their surfaces the actual objects we perceive. Geometric solids are actually the union of the surface and regions of space. In a way, this adds another dimension to two-dimensional space. Why is Omar Khayyam so famous? Omar Khayyam is not as well known for his contributions to math as he is. 
for being immortalized by Edward Fitzgerald. The 19th century English poet who translated Kayyam's own 600 short, four line poems in the Rubyat. However, Fitzgerald's translations were not exact. And most scholars agree that Kayyam did not write the line a jug of wine, a loaf of bread, and thou. Those words were actually conceived by Fitzgerald. Interestingly enough, versions of the forms and verses used in the Rubyat existed in Persian literature long before Kayyam. And only about 120 verses can be attributed to him directly. What does borrow mean in subtraction? As with carry in addition. To borrow in subtraction means to take amounts from one number and assign them to the next. In this procedure, the 10 is borrowed from the next highest digit. Column in order to obtain a positive difference in the nearby column. When you subtract the same columns, starting in the right hand column. The 4 is too small to subtract from 7, therefore, you need to borrow 10 from the column to the left. Boosting the number 4 to 14. The column to the left then loses 10, and 2 is left. Again, the 2 is too small to subtract from 6, so 10 is borrowed from the next column to the left. Boosting the number 2 to 12. The last number to the left is dropped down by 10, giving 11, the 5 is subtracted from the 11, resulting in 6 in that column. What are the derivatives of trigonometric functions? There are also derivatives of the six major trigonometric functions sine, cosine, cotangent, cosecant, tangent, and secant. For more information on these trigonometric functions, see geometry and trigonometry. What are the humanities? Humanities are those studies dealing with the fine arts, painting, drawing, and so on, literature, philosophy, and cultural science. This field focuses on the idea of expanding human thought, intellectual skills, and accomplishment through the study of these branches. Although the humanities seem far removed from mathematics, there are actually many connections. Why do meteorologists want people to pay attention to the heat index? The major reason involves how the body responds to high heat value numbers. If the relative humidity is high, it curtails evaporation on the skin. And the body is unable to effectively cool itself, and a person will perceive that the air is warmer. When heat index values grow higher, conditions exceed the level a body can remove heat causing the body temperature to rise. 
this can cause heat-related illnesses, such as sunstroke or heat exhaustion. For example, according to the United States National Weather Service, exposure to direct sunlight can increase the high by up to 15 degrees Fahrenheit, 9.4 degrees centigrade. And when a heat index between a mere 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 32.2 degrees centigrade to 105 degrees Fahrenheit, 40.6 degrees centigrade, can cause possible sunstroke, heat exhaustion, and heat cramps, it is easy to see the meteorologist's concerns. The following table shows how the heat we actually experience changes with temperature and humidity. Humidity is expressed as a percentage, temperatures are in degrees Fahrenheit. According to the National Weather Service, sunstroke, heat cramps, and heat exhaustion are possible above 90 degrees Fahrenheit, temperatures above 105 degrees can also lead to heat stroke, and above 130 degrees heat stroke is likely if exposure to such temperatures is prolonged. Have there been different types of Abbasai over the centuries? Yes, there have been many different types of Abbasai over the centuries. Including the Roman Abbasai mentioned above. The first type of abacus came into use in China about 1300 and was called a suan pen. Historians do not agree as to whether it was a Chinese invention or not. Some say it came from Japan via Korea. Although merchants used this type of abacus for standard addition and subtraction operations. It could also be used to determine square and cube roots of numbers. The Japanese abacus, or saraban, was similar to the Chinese abacus. But it eliminated one beat each from the upper and lower deck in each column. Thus, it is more similar to the Roman abacus. The Russians also have their own version of an abacus, it uses 10 beads on each wire, and a single deck. The separation in the wires is created by one wire with fewer beads. To date, what computer has the top speed in operations per second? In the 2004 Top 500 list a ranking of supercomputers by speed. With the results announced early each summer the top three supercomputers were as follows, note. A teraflop is a measure of a computer's performance, in which one teraflop is 1012 operations per second. IBM's Blue Jean slash L70.72 teraflops NASA's Columbia 51.87 teraflops NEC's Earth. Simulator 35.86 teraflops one of the next contenders is Sandia Labs Red Storm, with 41.5 teraflops. This list will continue to change each year as more advanced technology becomes available. In actuality, the fastest computer in the world is the human brain. An amazing computing device with the best processor on Earth. To compare, the fastest computers measure speed in trillions of operations per second. 
but scientists speculate the brain can handle 10 quadrillion operations per second. The actual numbers are probably even higher than that. Who was Oliver Heaviside? English electrical engineer Oliver Heaviside, 1850-1925. Was a self taught genius who made several contributions to the field of electricity and even atmospheric studies. In 1902, Heaviside predicted that there was a conducting layer in the atmosphere that allowed radio waves to follow the Earth's curvature, a layer now named after him. In electrical engineering, Heaviside was best known for operational calculus. A tool for solving linear differential equations with constant coefficients. It was usually applied to brief or fleeting, called transient phenomena and was very similar to Laplace transform in its calculations. Although Laplace had developed his ideas almost a century before, Heaviside knew nothing of them because they were not well known during his time. But Heaviside's operational calculus did have its problems, as well as its critics. It was severely limited because of its lack of mathematical theory. This not only limited its applications, but also created many uncertainties and ambiguities in the equations and solutions. Today, operational calculus has been replaced by Laplace transform, especially in fields such as electrical engineering. Who were the Egyptians? The Egyptians rose to prominence around 3000 BCE in the area we now call Egypt. But their society was already advanced, urbanized, and expanding rapidly long before that time. Although their civilization arose about the same time that words and numbers were first written down in Mesopotamia. Archaeologists do not believe there was any sharing between the two cultures. The Egyptians already had writing and written numerals, plus. The Egyptian signs and symbols were taken exclusively from the flora and fauna of the Nile River Basin. In addition, the Egyptians developed the utensils for writing signs about a thousand years earlier. What do plant hardiness zone numbers mean? Plant hardiness zones are another way numbers are used. In this case, they indicate the average annual minimum temperatures for land masses around the world. For example, one common plant hardiness zone map is broken down into 20 different zones based on the average annual minimum temperatures. In zone 5A, for example, the average annual minimum temperature ranges from minus 20 to minus 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Minus 26.2 to minus 28.8 degrees centigrade, for example, Des Moines, Iowa. In Zone 11, such temperatures are above 40 degrees Fahrenheit. 4.5 degrees centigrade, for example, Honolulu, Hawaii. 
and in zone 1, such temperatures are below minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Minus 45.6 degrees centigrade, for example, Fairbanks, Alaska. There are other maps, too, that break down the zones into even more detail. What is an aerospace engineer? Aerospace engineers are directly involved with putting objects from airplanes and the space shuttle to deep space craft into the sky and beyond. Using sundry mathematical models and techniques, they install, construct, maintain, and test systems used to launch, diagnose, or track aircraft and space vehicles. They may calibrate test equipment and determine causes of equipment malfunctions. Using computers and communication systems, aerospace engineers often record and interpret test data. An even easier way is to what is the chi-square test? The chi-square test is a way to determine the odds for or against a given deviation from the expected statistical distribution. This somewhat complex statistical test computes the probability that there is no major difference between the expected frequency of an event with the observed frequency of that event and especially to determine if the set of responses is significantly different from an expected set of responses only because of chance. There are even various ways to perform this type of test, such as the Pearson's chi-square test. Square the numbers first. Note, taking the square root of the variance gives the standard deviation. For example, Take the numbers 3, 5, 8, and 9, with a mean of 6.25, the sum of the numbers divided by the total number of numbers. To calculate the variance, determine the deviation of each number from 6.25, 3.25, 1.25, 1.75, 2 Square each deviation, 10.5625, 1.5625, Then take the average 22.75 slash 4 equals 5.6875, which is the variance. An easier way to calculate the variance is to square all the numbers first. 9, 25, 64, 81, and determine the mean, 9 plus 25 plus 64 plus 81 divided by 4 equals 44.75. Then subtract the square of the first mean, 6.252 equals 39.0625, or 44.75 39.0625 equals 5.6875. Can there be more than one type of number? Yes, numbers can be classified as more than one type, and it's not always easy to keep them straight. The following lists some ways to better understand the plethora of number types. A rational number is not always an integer, 4 slash 1 is an integer, but 2 thirds is not. 
but an integer is always a rational number because it can be represented by a fraction by putting the integer over 1, or slash 1, such as 2 slash 1 or 234 slash 1 a number can either be rational or irrational but not both the number for pi, 3.141592. Is irrational, the decimal does not repeat, and real zero. The theorem gives the probability that a ser what are mutually exclusive events. Mutually exclusive events are those that are impossible to occur together. For example, a subject in a study of male and female humans can't be both male and female. Males are males, females are females. Thus, depending on what the study is about, such as a study of how many males versus Females go to college from a certain high school, both events will be mutually exclusive. What are the probabilities and odds of being initially dealt certain hands in five-card poker and bridge? Because there are a certain number of cards in a playing deck. Mathematicians have worked out the probabilities and odds of being dealt certain hands for certain games. The following explains the odds in terms of chances against, chances for. How are matrices used? Matrices are used in a multitude of fields, from mathematics and science to certain humanities fields. For example, they are used in physics to determine the equilibrium of rigid bodies. In graph theory, fractals and solutions of systems of linear equations in mathematics. And in forest management, computer graphics, cryptology even electrical networks. How is an aneroid barometer read? Well, a falling hand on a barometer indicates a low pressure system is on the way with poor weather. Usually a storm with snow or rain, a steady barometer means there will be no changes with the ongoing pressure system. And a rising barometer means high pressure and fair weather. An even higher reading, around 31, means an extremely dry atmosphere. The timing of the barometric change is also telling. A change of a degree either way in a few hours means that the weather will change quickly. A slow change of 0.3 or so a day indicates weather arriving in 12 to 24 hours. A quick rise in the barometer also often indicates high winds and unsettled weather. All barometers work because of our weather systems. Changes in air pressure are caused by differences in air temperature. And this, in turn, creates the wind and weather patterns that carry. The high and low pressure systems around the Earth's lower atmosphere. How did the symbols for long division develop?
In the 19th century, United States textbooks typically showed long division with the divisor. Dividend, and quotient on the same line, separated by parentheses. As in 36, 108, 3. In the same century, in examples of short division, a vinculum, line, was placed under the dividend, with the vinculum almost attached to the bottom of the parenthesis. What was the scandal between mathematicians working on cubic and quartic equations? The early work on cubic equations was a tale of telling secrets, all taking place in Italy. What is a factor and what does factorization mean? A factor is a portion of a quantity that when multiplied by other factors gives the entire quantity, or product. In order to determine such factors, or divisors, you have to use factorization, also called factoring or to factor. When factoring an integer, it is referred to as prime factorization. When factoring a polynomial, it is called polynomial factorization. How do astrologers perceive numbers in relationship to the solar system? Astrologers people who look at the universe in terms of how it affects human behavior and future. Events perceive that each number from 0 to 9 is ruled by a certain celestial body in our solar system. Based on various factors, people are given certain numbers that then can be used to determine a person's dominant personality, and even his or her future. For example, the number 2 is ruled by the moon, a person with that number is cooperative, emotive, and has a great deal of feeling, the number 7 is ruled by Neptune. With the person being spiritual, and thus it is the number of mystics, visionaries, and seers. Not everyone subscribes to this way of knowing ourselves, but soothsayers have been around for centuries. Finding numbers and sundry other cosmic quantities for people who believe in astrology. What is the area of a two-dimensional geometric figure? The area of two-dimensional figures varies depending on the object. For the simpler two-dimensional figures, square, rectangle, parallelogram. The area can actually be found by calculating the number of square units in the interior of the object. Such a task can be difficult and time-consuming, so mathematicians simply multiply the height, h times the base, b, sometimes set as length times height or length times width, with rectangles. For more information about the area of geometric figures, see the Appendix 3, Common Formulas for Calculating Areas and Volumes of Shapes.
What is Godel's incompleteness theorem? Austrian American mathematician and logician Kurt Gödel, 1906 to 1978, is best known for his studies in mathematical logic, in particular his incompleteness theorem. Presented in 1931, this theorem shows that an infinite number of propositions that can't be derived from axioms of a system may be proved by metamathematical means external to mathematics. In other words, mathematics abounds with questions that have a yes or no nature. The incompleteness theory suggests that such questions will always exist. For more about Gödel, see History of Mathematics. What is a logistic equation? A logistic equation, resulting in a curve on a graph, represents the exponential increase in numbers of a species until it reaches the carrying capacity in its specific environment. This carrying capacity, usually referred to by the letter K, is the maximum population size that can be regularly sustained by an environment. Change the environment and K changes, for example, by such events as adding a predator, removing a competitor, or adding a parasite. What is a problem with our modern calendar? The modern calendar could use some small changes. Such as making sure we don't have to keep changing calendars each year, see below. But the real problem with the modern calendar isn't the human factor, it's nature. As our Earth orbits around the Sun, it wobbles like a spinning top in a process called precession. Because scientists can measure the planet's movements more accurately now than in the past. They know that the wobble is increasing. This is because the tides caused by the pull of the Sun and Moon are slowing the Earth's spin. And, like a top, as the spinning slows, the wobble increases and the length of the year decreases. What is Newton's law of universal gravitation? As hard as it is to comprehend, almost, Everything in the universe is attracted to everything else. This physical law is not only one of the most well known but also one of the most important. Newton's law states that the gravitational force between two masses, M and M, is proportional to the product of the masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance, R, between them. What were Archimedes's greatest contributions to mathematics? Historians consider Archimedes, c. 287 to 212 BCE, Hellenic, to be one of the greatest Greek mathematicians of the Classic era. Known for his discovery of the hydrostatic principle, 
he also excelled in the mechanics of simple machines. Computed close limits on the value of pi by comparing polygons inscribed in and circumscribed about a circle. Worked out the formula to calculate the volume of a sphere and cylinder. And expanded on Yudakusa's method of exhaustion that would eventually lead to integral calculus. He also created a way of expressing any natural number, no matter how large. This was something that was not possible with Greek numerals. For more information about Archimedes, see Mathematical Analysis and Geometry and Trigonometry.